Hi friends, I'm checking in today because I'm gonna work on writing today. I sent my class a nice graphic organizer that we could use for our uh, persuasive writing today because we're trying to convince someone of something, okay? And I think this might help in your planning before you even start writing. I sent my class um, Oreo writing, which is opinion writing, okay? And because our story today is about um, a monkey and whether or not it would make a good pet. It says, do you think a monkey would make a good pet? Why or why not? Okay, so I think this might help us plan out what we're doing. So this is how it works really quickly. Um, we call it Oreo writing because it's O-R-E and then it ends in O, okay? So the first thing you wanna state is your opinion. So do you think a monkey would make a good pet? That's up to you to decide. If you do, you're gonna say, oh, well, in my opinion, I think a monkey will make a good pet, okay? So, or if you're not, if you don't think that, you're gonna write, in my opinion, right? I think a monkey would not make a good pet, okay? I'm gonna do that because I think I can think of more reasons why a monkey can be a bad pet rather than a good pet. But I'm sure if you think a monkey can make a good pet, you go for that and write it. And if you don't have this graphic organizer at home, all you have to do is write O-R-E-O-R-E-O -E -E on a piece of paper and you can create this yourself. Okay, and now the second step when you're writing um, opinion writing is for you to think of a reason to support your opinion. So when I say, in my opinion, a monkey would not make a good pet, I need to think of a reason why a monkey would not make a good pet. Okay, so I'm thinking right away off the bat that monkeys would not make good pets because they need to swing on trees, right? And I don't have trees in my house, so I don't think there would be enough space in my house for a monkey to live his best life. So... I'm gonna write that as my first reason. And I'm gonna say, remember, I'm writing complete sentences with capital letters and periods. So a monkey would not make a good pet. Because there wouldn't be space for him, right? Now your reasons are gonna be different. Maybe you think he's a good pet, maybe you think he's bad, and maybe you have a different reason why he's a bad pet. So I write, I wrote, a monkey would not make a good pet because there's no space for him in my house. Okay, and now the E in Oreo stands for example. So the example is gonna support your reason and you're gonna give a specific example of what you mean. So I said, a monkey wouldn't make a good pet because there's no space for him in my house. Now, what do I mean by that? I'm gonna say, for example, A monkey needs to swing on trees. And there are no trees in my house. Okay, so that's an example that supports this, okay? My example has to do with my reason. So for the next reason that you're gonna come up with, um, make sure you're thinking of an example that you can explain your reason with. And last but not least, in Oreo writing, really important, we always wanna restate our opinion, okay? So our opinion was up here. So you wanna wrap up your writing by saying, well, in my opinion, a monkey would not make a good pet because this and this, or you can say, restate it in another way, um, a monkey would definitely not make a good pet because you want to make sure that you have an ending, okay? So maybe I'd write, I don't think anyone should have a monkey as a pet or something like that. Okay, I'm going to let you think of this on your own. Um, no one take my answer. Think of your own because you guys, I'm really excited to read this. I want to know, would a monkey make a good pet or not?